Good evening. Um, <laughs> so I hope um, you are all right and maybe you watched the uh, pixel art tutorials that I put up. Um, it's, I don't know, Saturday evening and I got a little bored. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create this little watchtower here. Um, I found this reference on Twitter recently. It's like an observatory thing, apparently. And I thought it might be a cool practice um, to show you how, how I started doing the pixel art stuff that I did. And maybe um, to give you like some idea on how to approach your own projects. Um, so let's just jump into this and do this together. Um, if you haven't watched the tutorials, do that. Um, I'm going to use the add-on that I created. So I will set up render pixel art here. And then I'm going to set the resolution to um, <laughs> maybe 150 by 200 or something. Could be even higher. Oh, well, I don't know. I think I, think I will keep this um, because then I have some just some neutral space on the left and right hand side, like more than this image has. That might be fun. Um, I'm going to start with the 60 and 45 degree angle, but I actually want to have something that is a lot more flat, like over here. So let's maybe do, uh, I don't actually know what angles are good here, like 50 or something. Let's actually render the pixel art and check. Um, yeah, render pixel art preview. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I haven't saved your project yet. That is a very crucial part of the tutorial, actually. If you don't save the file, the Python script um, cannot access um, the folder, which is essential because it actually saves an image file into the folder. Um, that is something that I don't mention in the tutorial, but you can't really easily read from the render result in Blender, which is really, really shitty. But um, a workaround to that is to save the image and then to load it in again, which is what I'm doing there. Okay, um, let's open up the image editor and get the, no, this is the tower, the render result. And this looks good, I think. I don't know, could, could be worse. Um, <laughs> let's get a plane and scale it up like really big so that we get like our waterfront here. Also for the camera, why is this cut off? Maybe there's like a negative clipping distance here going on or something. Oh yeah, there is probably. Let's actually move the camera, yeah. If we move it very far away, it looks better. Um, okay, she is the camera. Let's put it to minus 50, minus 50, so that this is like right in the center of the image. I'd like to do that and let's, um, Get a cylinder here, shade it smooth, and use the air split modifier. By the way, um, short tip. Something I noticed with the um, auto smooth option here, I st I'd completely stopped using it. Of course, the problem with um, auto smooth seems to be that it creates, um, like Blender has a data type that um, is called custom uh, custom normal data or something. And if you enable auto smooth, it will create that data and that can mess up your import export. Um, for some programs, I <coughs> use Blender Alert for Roblox modeling and it's actually really bad there. Um, another thing I want to have is I want to enable shadows in the viewport because even though like that's that might seem gimmicky but you can see that i can already tell that the cylinder is grounded here and you know 
actually cavity and shadow i i tend to always enable those nowadays because they just give me so much more information about the scene and how it's uh, structured okay so this is sort of like the base of the tower i guess and let's actually um set up some very basic materials here so i'm going to use pixel example for both of them and i'm going to create proper sunlight like i did in the tutorial because that is really cool you can actually use any type of light um, with the pixel art add-on which is kind of nice because it cycles you know and the whatever you render will show up in the uh, diffuse buffer that it creates um oh my god why is it so weird did i <laughs> did i mess up the add-on or something Fuse buffer seems to be fine. Let's hit render pixel art, like render the entire thing. Huh. Okay, this is strange. Does he all? We have a clipping distance issue. That shouldn't be the case. Okay, so the other cool thing about the add-on is that it actually projects properly if you have oh let me try something. <laughs> Maybe I messed up. Maybe I need to update the add-on. Um Let's set it to, to perspective and like at a very high lens. Um, I might have caused an issue there. Let's hope nobody notices it. <laughs> um, let's render the pixel preview again. Yes, now it works. Okay. Um, then I will need to look into the custom mapping again. Huh. Okay, that is weird, but um, I'm just going to be ignore it for now. Might look into that later. Um, okay, this is cool. Actually, hmm. uh, the issue I have with this is that the top part is going to be right on the horizon line. And I don't really want that, so I'm going to increase it a even more. So let's actually uh, rotate this around a bit. Okay, yeah. This is, this is a lot nicer. Um, oh yeah, I can't hit F12. Um, <laughs> I don't know, like the pixel art add-on, it's, I think, I still think it's pretty useful and it's pretty neat, um, but it does have some issues. Okay, let's uh, create a plane for the background. This is the easiest way to do to do a sky for the add-on. Uh, there I can see it. There I can't see it. What is the clipping distance on this thing? One hundred. Yeah, let's set it to a thousand. That's that's what we want to see. Okay. 
this is a, a bit strange, but whatever. Actually, no, 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 that's not good. Okay, let's scale this up like drastically. Let's put this here, scale it up drastically. And then I need to move the camera even further. And let's hit um, megapixel preview. Nice, okay, this is cool. And let's give this an emission material with like a blue color, just for the sky, I guess. We can change this later, just for now, okay. Cool, yeah, that's what I want to see. And for the floor, I'm actually going to get the glossy material. And I hope it won't bite me eventually. If it does, I can also mirror the, yeah, nice. This looks pretty good. Um, I can also mirror the object itself. I'm going to tint it more bluish. Nice, okay, now you can see that this is also getting tinted which is pretty cool. Okay. What I don't like about this view is, like I like that it has this um, horizon line. I don't like that it, um, like if we keep modeling here, what will happen is like it has this like huge top part and I don't think that is going to look great. This is on top of here. Well, maybe it will. Maybe it will. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going with this. I think. Okay. You can also actually. I think you could even use a normal map to distort this. Um, maybe we will try that later. But for now, I think I'm going to start focusing on the modeling part a bit more. Um, so modeling for pixel art is a bit different because you need to think about a lot of stuff like these railings here, for example, those won't look great in pixel art because they will be like one pixel wide and one pixel isn't like, it's, it's pretty small here. Could maybe hand paint them, but like pulling them directly is is going to be really shitty. Also, the outline from freestyle seems to be pretty large, so let me drop that a bit. Um, why is that? Where is? Oh yeah, drop this down in thickness. Thickness is 4.4 here, let's set it to 2, half as thick. Yeah, this is better. It's not great, but it's better. And let me also, while we are working on this, actually make this black and white. Um, so I'm going to just create a grayscale in here. Um, I added the colored one because I thought it looked a lot cooler and it gave you like a start for also understanding how pixel art colors are set up. Because you could see that the shadow colors are generally in a different hue. Um, nice. Yeah, by the way, if you don't have geometric changes, you can actually press F12 and it should work pretty well, except it won't update like the border colors, etc. Just the main color buffer. Um, but that is good enough. The lamp is actually not strong enough. That is why the image looks so dark, I think. Oh yeah, and then I need to do this. Um, Nice. Oh yeah, look at this. This is this is already getting cooler. Um, it 
trying to think of different perspectives here, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I wanted to keep modeling. Okay, so let's do that. I also have it open on my second monitor. So um, I want you to take a close look for now. We have a space, which I will start modeling now, when we have like this, when we have the staircase going up and we have the special staircase, which is super cool. I like that detail. And then we have like solar panels on the roof and lots of antennas and stuff. Um, so let's start with the bottom part. And I'm going to go ahead No, it's fine. Okay. Uh, I was considering how I wanted this to be actually tilted 45 degrees or whether I wanted to turn it. But I think I'm fine with it. And by the way, I think I can, yeah, I can enable screen, screen cross keys. Now that is a bit large, let's make that a bit lower. Okay, cool. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, okay, let's um, go ahead and keep building this thing. So it has these blockers, which I assume if a ship actually like gets close to this, it will like um, bump against these and then they will, I don't know. Uh, be the reason for it to uh, oh, be yes better. Um, for it not to break or something. I don't know. I don't know how these stations work. I'm not a architect for, um, I don't know, scientific stations. It's a bit a specialized thing. Okay, let's see how this looks. All right, it has the wrong material, so it's going to look terrible. Um, just gonna copy this one. And that is pretty cool. I like that. Now let's also uh, okay. let's duplicate this and put like a small ring down here where people can stand on. Nice. And then we already have the staircase part. Let me actually this is this is way too large. It's like this size. And then it has a platform around it. Just maybe that size. Yeah. I think that, that will do. Okay, now, now, now I start focusing on stuff uh, on, on, on stuff on top of here. But that is fine. Um, I gen like when I when I'm modeling, I generally just go with the flow and just do what I think would improve the image the most right now. I have something turned on. Um, you will need. You will eventually need to um, start focusing on things, but. Um, Let's just apply this, whatever. Where do I sign? Apply, okay, cool. Um, but in general, I just prefer just staying in the flow, doing stuff to the alternative, which is, I can't talk. <laughs> um, which is like a going through it in a very structured way, I guess. Oh yeah, that 
let's uh, get vertex mapping. Let's snap this. Nice. Cool. Cool, cool. This is not a clean model, but whatever. We don't care. We're doing pixel art here. Okay. Um, Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, let's keep going here. We will also need to decide what stuff should have an outline in the end and what shouldn't. Let's do a quick render in between. And a pixel preview. Yeah, outlines are going to be a problem. I might go with the alternative method that I um, mentioned in the tutorial. <laughs> it's not even that late, I don't know. Um, for now, I'm just going to use the rendered image only, like without the outline stuff. You can just plug that out in the compositor and it will work perfectly well. Nice, that is cool. Um, what else are we building here? Let's actually move this up a bit. What we could do is we could try to do railing, but like do a thin one. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay, okay. We got this, we got this guys. Okay. Let's look at that. Nice. Okay, that is that is cool. That is so cool. Let's let's keep that. Um <laughs> and you can see like I'm building the content content very much based on the um on the model itself. Uh no, not on the model, but on the effect that I'm doing fixed out, right? Because if I wouldn't do that, like I would never do stuff like this. Okay, let's um, create some stairs. And I'm going to create these stairs with an array modifier. So let's get cursor to selected and let's add an empty uh, sphere, generate all of spheres. And then let's do an array modifier. And let's use an object offset. This looks so interesting in November. Okay, and I'm also going to apply the scale of this. And yeah, I can just do a cursor. Um, origin to 3D cursor. And now I can manipulate this, which is really cool. And if we increase the count, we have a stair. Nice, magic. <laughs> okay, but I uh, want these stairs to go to like this point over here so that I can still do this st uh, special staircase thing at the top here. And these need to be wider. Let's actually look at that in the pixel art because I don't know how many pixels it is going to get. As always the material over. Oh, by the way, uh, you do this by selecting the stairs, shift selecting the tower, pressing control L, and then you can link the materials. It will just copy all the materials over to the other object. That's a super useful thing. Um, 
Now the thing is like some officers are one pixel wide, one of some of them are two pixel wide and there are gaps in between. I think what I want to do is I just want them to close off. So I'm going to do it like this and then we can render again. And that is Hmm. Hmm. It's not great yet. First of all, I'm going to make them larger. Like what I don't like is like these. Like why is there an overlap? Why? <laughs> why? Why do you do this blender? Okay, let's actually get them perfectly on the edge here. That removes that, but it still has three and two high staircase things. So I'm going to actually undo that, move it up a bit more, but instead I'm going to move the empty up. Why is there, why is there a sky pixel anyways? Oh, because, oh, okay. <laughs> let's um, select this edge. It's not at the same height anymore as the rest of the model. So let's, why is the snapping not working? Okay. Now there shouldn't be a sky peeking through. Honestly, these stairs are one of the hardest things of this, so I'm fine if it takes a little bit longer. But we still have two and three pixel high stairs, so again, I'm going to um, make them a bit, let's actually make them flatter until we have only two pixel high staircase things. Now these are the things that uh, make, ah, that was too much, um, that make working with 3D and pixel art not that great, but like repainting all these stairs would also take tons of time. Ah, this one has, has three, okay, so. Slightly bit less high. Slightly. Now this one is free. This is nice. Okay, nice. Oh, cool. Okay. Let's see, that's a nice thing going around and I'm going to keep that. And then also we add another level to this. It's going to be the start of the special staircase. That. that is not nice, that is not clean, but I doubt I can do anything about it. I can though, okay. But the thing is, you can never move the camera after this, you know, because all of the measures are very very fixed on the pixels uh, from now on um, so I'm I'm fully committed to uh, to the perspective that I have but I'm not I'm fine with them because the perspective is actually pretty fine pretty good like we're still like if you were to do the pixel up by hand you probably wouldn't add these jaggies you would just do a 45 degree cut like clean 
and it would look like really good. It wouldn't be realistic, but it would look good. So. We can actually move the light later because right now I'm mainly worrying about outlines. Um, let's actually move the light right now. <laughs> to the point where I get a nice 45 degree angle there, which maybe I can't because it's a curve. Actually, the previous one wasn't too bad, was it? This is, this is pretty clean. I like that. I'm going, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to keep that. Um, So other stuff I would like to do, let's do two more railings here. Should be one pixel high. It's two pixels high. Oh, that's super weird. I don't know. guess it's fine. If it has a different color, we might be fine. I can actually give the tower a yellow color. Should I do that? Yeah, let's do it. Um, yellow. Nice. I'm such a creative. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be shade editor. And pick some yellowish colors. So like the brightest color should probably be almost white. Then let's get some like really strong yellows in here. This one should actually be a bit lighter. I think this one should be the strongest color, the strong yellow. And then I'm going to go for a very red, reddish color for the shadows. So it generally looks good with yellow. Okay, let's try that. Let's try to render that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I actually like to have a bit more of this yellow in there. But you know, this is a really cool thing that you can edit these things and Just see what it does. Nice, that's interesting. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, but the railings should keep the old color. Like the main reason I did that is so that I can contrast them more easily. So I'm going to separate them and give them the example material. And then let's do a test render them. Nice, but now you can see the rating on top of you. I don't really like that it's going up and down, but the thing is that is just how the perspective works here. What I could do is I could move the camera a bit up, but my fear is it actually didn't mess up a lot of stuff, but it also didn't fix the issue. too much. Look at this. Now we still have pretty nice lines down here. Like this one is actually bending back, but I like that. These look fine. I'm 
top of here we have like a tiny bit of perspective but I'm just gonna go with that I what I could actually do is I could separate this and set the origin to the geometry so that it has oh god what was going on here so that it has a nice center and then we could rotate it very slightly um That doesn't make sense because we're breaking the model, but everything that makes the pixel art look better is something we should do. So also this pole is actually should look more like this. Oh, I like these like these shadows here. That is something you would need to work for really hard with like real pixel art. And here you essentially get it for free, which is amazing. This is a really shitty image, by the way, because I plan to post this on YouTube and I'm just realizing that it will be difficult to find a nice thumbnail for this. Um, but whatever, you know, um, I wanted to make this, so I'm, I'm going to, to roll with it. <laughs> okay. Um, I could actually give these stairs the yellow material. Already, see, that is what I mean with sometimes you need to decide to work more closely. Not in love with this white anyway, um, <laughs> uh, or more more focused because otherwise you would just get hung up in all these tiny little details, which is fine. Ah, but it's it's just a little bit too strong. Maybe we shouldn't even have that highlight. We still have it down here, which is cool. I, I like this. I'm going to, to go with this. Um, what do I want to say? Sometimes you get hung up in all these little compositional things while you still haven't finished the model. And it helps if you have finished the model. But it also helps if the composition is right because then you can see what parts of the model work well and which one. So on this image, it is tilted to the left. And I was considering to turn this by 90 degrees so that you look at the solar panels, but I think it's nicer actually this way because it's not so symmetrical. If we were to turn it by 90 degrees, it would just be a blob on top of this. But here it's this nice uh, roof angled shape. So let's, um, let's keep that. I think that's better. So what we're going to do for that is I am going to try to just create a single plane in the beginning that looks good and then we can start splitting that up. Because again we need to get these angles right so that they look good in the final pixel art. And you can already see it's 223, 223, 223 and so on. So that is not good can either go for twos or for threes, and I'm actually going to go for twos. So I'm going to move this a little bit higher. Now it's all twos, nice. And it looks, it, it looks pretty good, actually. So let's split this up. You can use a bevel to actually like create cuts here. That is what I generally use. It's like really fast and nice. If we split this up, we should now, yeah, now we have this little detail in there, which is not a lot, but um, you know, you notice these things. And that is what comes. Is that another plane there? 
is pretty good. Okay. And now let's add these cones. I'm actually considering to just say fuck it and like not add any. <laughs> I get distracted CSD. Not add any um, outlines to pixel shapes whatsoever. Because I actually really like the look of this. So maybe I will just do that. Let's copy these over. render all the time because they want to see what's going on nice one look at this i'm so happy i'm so happy this is really nice okay um <laughs> let's let's keep rolling um because i didn't expect this to do to go super well but right now i'm really hyped <laughs> so i'm gonna keep going until it starts to suck and then I don't know. I don't know. I will think of it later. <laughs> um, let's actually duplicate this and also move it down here. It's not like it is in the original, but I kind of like the idea of this pole like going through there and being supported from the bottom and the top, and then it can go like really high. to the end of the image or towards the end of the image. Nice. And then we can add some more antennas and shit later. Oh, sorry. Don't say swears. Don't say swears, Lars. It's your shit. Um, we also need support beams here. That looks a bit weird. If we don't have any. I think it's fine if we only have them on one side wall. Let's check. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't. Um, that's that's okay though. Well, that's okay. Um, I'm just going to add a center one. I think. Press the. Oh no, never mind. I can add them over there because uh, there's a square platform beneath it. I forgot about that. Okay. Cool. Cool. Nice. Super tiny detail. Like you would need to like paint six pixels for this, but honestly, painting this entire thing and pixel art and like imagining the perspective and everything would have taken me hours because I'm, I'm I'm not a great 2D artist, but doing this in 3D actually speeds it up so much. Oh God, <laughs> never, go, never go into viewport shading. <laughs> I tried to stabilize that with uh, some tricks, but it just didn't work. So <laughs> it's fine. Um, there are actually some pipes here going up to the tower. So I'm going to add those. They are two in the image. I don't know if I just want to have one. Probably. Probably going to stick with one. And let's render this. Yes, but it should be more, more to be right. It's nicer. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, that is a, that is a great detail. Okay. Um, <laughs> what else can we do? We can do a second one of these actually. Oops. 
so we have two on the bottom, might as well add two up here. Move them slightly down so that we have the same pixel distance. Oh god, no, that made it worse, so keep it. <laughs> okay. So um, we can actually look at the image for a second here. So that uh, so, so I can keep you in the loop, right? You viewer haven't seen this image for a while and I should keep you updated. So we did a lot of this top part here. I'm actually not going to add a lot more there, I think. Maybe I will recolor the top thingies to a, to a white color. Um, we need to add antennas and we need to add the special stair. And then what we can also think about is like adding clouds in the background, etc. But um, yeah, I will do that later. Okay, so I think special stair is the is the main thing that is missing here. How does the special stair look? Okay, I can basically do this make it a separate object. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So what I'm going to do here is going to delete most of this and use modifiers because we're in Blender, we should use modifiers for everything that we can because they are great and they are the like one of the main advantages that we have in 3D. What I'm going to use is the uh, screw, screw modifier, which essentially recreates the entire thing anyways. Um, but we can add a screw thing and we can say it's only for 90 degrees. that creates this beautiful geometry. And if we also um, fuck, 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 fuck. What I wanted to do is I wanted to extrude this. I can actually just eyeball it, right? Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Honestly, eyeballing in Blender is very underappreciated because you can, you get away with so much shit. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's really good. Oh, and now I can press double G and do this until it barely intersects. Nice. And do this over here. And then I can get it to the correct height and, you know, just eyeball it. Who cares? Can we close up the caps? Okay, create order, smooth shading. There's no fill caps, I think. Is this an issue? Let's um, let's give it a material. Actually, the gray material. And let's render it and see how it works. Ah, it's fine. It's fi <laughs> it's fine. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to extrude these two using Alt S because that actually is really handy for increasing the size of circles and then, you know, who cares? It's pixel art. Like you, you can't even see that. Nice. Now we have a stair going up there, which is a really nice arc because you have, like, let's look at these 
arches, arch, arches, arches, right? We have this top thing here, which is not an arch technically, it's just a straight line to the right. And then on the bottom here, we also have a line to the right. And then on the bottom, it gets catched by the staircase. It's going into a different direction. And that is just all really great and cool. And I love it. Um, over here, I would like to, we can actually link these with uh, object data because then I only need one by one of them. What I want to do is I just want to connect this up because if I now render this, yeah, it connects to that, which I want to have. Uh, what else? What else? <laughs> we could add a rating to the stairs actually. I'm just, um, I just don't know how much detail we can add until it gets really overloaded. Um, so let's add some antennas first. How do we do that? We add, we add a cube. Cube is actually better. and build it in a way so that it is one pixel large, hopefully. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, okay, uh, we can fix this. We can fix this by rotating these straight. Which, as always, is not a clean solution, but a very effective solution. So now we just need to move this down a bit. So that is only one pixel. This one up a bit. And again, this probably would be easier by hand. But I'm doing it in Blender because I'm cool. I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, I kind of wanted to give these a white material. I don't have a white material yet. Let's actually create that. White. that is just going to be straight up, very bright white material, except in the shadows, where I can keep the hue a little bit around it. Oh yeah, I, <laughs> I haven't assigned it to anything yet. Uh, let's assign it to the top part here and see how that looks. Nice, that is cool. Um, I also wanted to have it for the pipe. I think, at least in the original, it's on the pipe. And on the antennas. Actually on the, on the entire thing, I think. Again, using Control L to copy over the materials. What happened to screencast keys? Uh, not must must have broken somewhere. I'm sorry for that, but I didn't catch it. Now the cool thing is, you can still see it in the shadow. How awesome is that? Because I made the color slightly different, and you know it looks yellow and white, but it's actually both both of them are brown. Um, and that is some heavy color theory for you there. Um, you, you, I'm, I'm just going to give you homework and tell you, think about why that happens. <laughs> um, okay, cool, 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 cool. 
I'm so tempted to do the distortion. I, I, I just want to try. Um, <laughs> so uh, let's get a Vernoy texture or something. Uh, wait, what? Oh, it's really large. And let's uh, get a bump, bump up thing. Let's plug the distance into the height, plug it into the normal. Now these point upwards. I want them to point do downwards. I think that's actually your nervous. I mean, it looks very glitchy. My texture might be the wrong choice here. Um, what textures do we have? We could use a uh, we'll just use a noise texture with like super low detail. And put the scale to 500 as well. I'm choosing that because it's a bit smoother. So now you can see that it's getting distorted a little bit, but I don't like it. You know, it just looks a lot nicer if it's a clean reflection. So I will keep that. But um, what I actually want to do is I want to get a mix shader. Because the reflection is a bit too strong for my taste, and I can't really do that without the lossy destroying it. So, yeah, see now the reflection is like super low, and also my color got messed up. Nice, nice. Because it was touching the bottom of the image, and I didn't like that. Now it's still touching it. But visually, if you zoom out a lot, it still looks like the object stops here and doesn't like start bleeding into the bottom of the thing. Um, another thing that I don't like are the shadows of the antennas. So I'm going to move them behind this. So that we have a clean antenna up there. else is missing. I actually like the idea of um, adding a window on top of here. And for that I'm just going to use an emissive material. You know, like like you would be looking through the tower. I want to provoke that feeling. Yes, that is good, but it is too far back, so I'm going to remove one of the faces. Nice. Okay, that is perfectly nice square. 
Um, now I just need to make it maybe dark blue. Yeah, yeah, I, I could see how, how you now look through this. Maybe make it higher. Yeah, nice. But also, I don't know, lately I've been looking at a lot of my art through the lens of like looking at faces. It's kind of like a little bird face, like with the eye and like you have this nose tip here and it generally makes stuff more aesthetically pleasing if you if you make it look like a face like um, the mario games like uh, nintendo always does that like they noticed that a long long time ago and since then they've been doing it very well and you know there's nothing wrong with that let's be wondering why this pixel here is black I guess it's the shadow of something. Okay. Um, oh, this is one object. That is cool. Um, this is too wide, right? If I remember, this is, it's probably two pixels. Or it's even a lot more. It's four? I think that's four pixels. Um, like this nice now it's a uh, single thing I can duplicate this it has a nice center so I can rotate it around to some position that I like going to add multiple at once now. Uh, just trying to find nice placements for these. I could do them again with an array modifier and stuff. But right now I'm choosing to have more control. Why are these not showing up? wider. Are they lost between pixels or something? No. Yes, they are. Oh, that is wild. Nice. Nice. Okay, this actually looks pretty well. And we should do the same thing for the top here. And maybe look. Oh yeah. What? With some luck, we can actually just Cheese this. Nice, okay. There's only one of them, which is looking a little bit awkward. We move it over a little tiny bit. Yeah, that looks right. This is getting pretty close to what I want to achieve, actually. Um, and if you zoom out like really far, this could be a photograph because it's cycled and it has like such such realistic lighting. Um, but I would like to have some clouds. And for that, 
actually going to add a constraint to this. We can just make it copy the camera rotation so that it's perfectly aligned. And then maybe we will nice. Maybe we can just like place some squares in this guy and tell you, hey, that if that's that's totally a cloud. Oh, <laughs> and do you see the cool thing? It has a reflection. <laughs> Maybe, maybe even a line is good enough. Uh, but the thing is, the reflection doesn't make sense if it isn't further away. So. You see how much closer to the horizon it now got? Yeah, that is, that is why we need to have it like almost at the position of the other re uh, rectangle. This is pretty cool. I'd like to try to have two lines maybe even. That's nice. Gives it a weird Not a weird, but uh, a more maritime aesthetic as well. Um, this color is not strong enough, not bright enough, um, mainly. So let's revisit our color ramp here. I think we can tune that up a notch. Make it a bit stronger in general. That's nice. What else can we do to make this look great? Could add a little bird or something on top. But honestly, I don't know if that is going to look that well. <laughs> oh, weird. Oh, actually, we have some stuff to do down here. Um, this is going to be black. Or like, it's not going to be black. It's just going to be a darker gray. These are your like rubber bumpers, I assume. Yeah. And everything down here should also be grayish. So let's actually just give this the gray material that we already have. I'm just gonna separate this and uh pixel example is a gray one and check how that looks. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, that separates it a lot from the water, which is nice. I like that. Um, what else we could add a li little ship or something. Do we want to risk it? Do, do we want to try it? Okay, let's, 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 let's do this. Um, <laughs> Okay, I don't have reference for this, which is a bad idea. We should always model with reference. I think I can't stress that enough. But we just add this like super tiny ship here. And if it's just a couple of pixels large, yeah, it's totally fine. I actually like the reflections on the water, so what I'm going to do is 
one second. <laughs> um, again, I am distracting myself. Clouds are a bit too bright for my taste. Oh god, oh no, don't run an animation. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Uh, what I would like to do is I would like to add little white poles into the water. I know they are not in the original. Maybe they don't even make sense. Oh wait. I need to render this so that it actually gives it lighting. Yes. Yes, but you can see like how that adds to the composition. Again, the original, it's just a plain tower in the water. It is not not so super interesting, so I'm just trying to spice it up a little. This one should also be what? Okay, perfect, nice. Um, I'm actually going to rotate this a little bit so that it does not have a top side. Eh, honestly, that's worse. Maybe I should even give it more of a top side. Oh, whatever, that's fine. And what else can we do? These are like really dark. I don't like that. I'm going to try to turn them so they get brighter. Why is that part dark? Oh my god. Oh my god. Fix it. Nice. That is all good. I still kind of want to have birds. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to create a like super tiny bird. First, I want to have one here and one here. On the third pole, probably. And it's going to be just flat dark gray. Look at this amazing bird. Let's make this even smaller. God damn it. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my language. 
search settings actually switched. <laughs> so I need to do this new clicky. Now you knew how late it was when I created this, which is not too bad. Oh, nice. Yeah, that looks like a bird. Okay, let's copy this. Also put one down here. Eh. And here comes the part where I try to figure out how to make it look like the other one, like this. Nice. actually make this front part orange. Let me make it here. Yeah, like that. I can actually link these object data and then they are just the same. Cool, that's a very tiny detail, but you know, whatever. Okay, what do I not like about this image? Um, the boat and the antenna, mainly the antenna. The antenna is really bothering me, so I'm redoing it. It's going to be yellow again. I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try um, like disk antennas. Maybe that works better. Make them white. I don't even need to shape them smooth. Like that is already fine enough so that the detail, uh, the pixels can't catch it. Yes, and I think that that will look a lot better. In general, like single pixel detail is really hard to get right in 3D, but these sort of things were pretty darn well. Yeah, see, that is, that is like already a hundred times cooler. And Let's actually make this, oh, that is already full white. Uh, where's the light coming from? Hmm. Let's actually make the white things a bit whiter. Nice. Uh, a little bit more. Yes. Of course, I want this to be full bright white, just as a as like small eye catcher. And then I'm going to rework the boat. That's honestly the last thing that is actually bugging me. is fine. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, bevel these so that it's actually a nice ship shape. And what I could also do is I could get 
just add a little rectangle here maybe but it's like the window pane of the board or something just something to make it look nicer I could also add a small line here. Okay, like this is it's getting really detailed and finicky, um, but yeah. Let's make it black. And I think that's it. <sighs> that is that is that is not a nice shape. <laughs> One second. <laughs> but you see what I mean, right? This is this is nonsense. We just need to try to find a nice angle for this and a nice size. That's a lot nicer. Okay, cool, thanks. How long have we been recording? Um, one hour, 20 minutes. I think that is pretty good. Um, I hope this uh, entire, like it wasn't a tutorial. I'm gonna label this as a stream, I think, even though it wasn't a live stream. Um, I think you enjoyed this. I think um, maybe this taught you a bit more about how to use the add-on. Um, and it made me realize that it's broken in some areas, <laughs> which I will try to fix. Um, sooner or later, I, uh, I don't know how much time I will have tomorrow and like the week after that. But have fun. Show me your artwork. Maybe you made a nice um, water tower. If you did so, uh, send it to me and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.